So you're ready to register a domain name for your business. That's exciting. I bet you've got a cool name in mind. It's on brand, it's short and clear, and it's easy to spell over the phone. Kia ora, I'm David from Internet NZ, and today I'll walk you through some key tips to looking after your domain name. I use a .nz domain name as an example here, but these tips hold true for any other domain name as well. So, step one. Before you register a domain name, first you need to check that it's not already trademarked or someone else's intellectual property. Just go to business.gov.nz slash one check. And in here, type the domain name that you want to register. This simple check is your insurance and it'll help you to avoid disputes over domain names in the future. So, step two. When you register a domain name, use your own name or your company's name for your registration details. Never use fake names such as admin admin or Mickey Mouse, true story, or your .nz domain might be taken down for not showing a real contact or email details. So, step three. If you ask a web developer to set it up for you, make sure that they register it in your name and not in their own. And make sure you've got the login details to be able to log in and manage the domain on your own behalf. If your web developer is managing your domain for you, they can add themselves as the technical contact, but make sure that you are listed as the admin contact. Your domain name is key to your business's online presence and you need to keep control of it. You probably wouldn't have the title of your house in your builder's name, would you? Your domain name is yours and make sure that you don't hand over control to anyone else. On to step four, keeping your domain name registration details current. What if you already have a domain name that someone registered for you a while ago? For your peace of mind, check that the domain name is registered in your name with the correct contact details. For .nz domains, go to dnc.org.nz and type in your domain name in the Who Is Lookup search field and check all the details. Update your details if necessary and keep it current. Step five, always have access to the email address that you use to register your domain name. Payment reminders and verification requests will come from your domain name provider to this email address and it's important that you have access to these. If you miss these emails, your website or your email may stop working. Step six, know who your domain name provider is. When you register your .nz domain name, take note of your login details, your password, and remember who you registered the name with. Why is this important? Firstly, to be able to renew your domain name. Secondly, to configure your domain name for website and email. And third, if you're confident with who you're dealing with, it's much harder for you to be scammed. Step seven, take note of your domain name renewal date. Imagine waking up one morning and discovering that your website and email are offline because you forgot to renew your domain name. Online sales have stopped, people can't contact you, it's gonna have a huge impact on your business. To avoid that, simply set up a calendar reminder for your domain name renewal to keep your domain name safe from lapsing. By the way, .nz domain names can be registered for terms up to 10 years. You may consider a longer term so that you don't have so many renewals to worry about. To sum up, a domain name is a digital asset and a key part to your professional online presence. So it's crucial to choose it wisely and protect it well. Download our checklist and use it to improve your domain name hygiene. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.